Hi designers, we're here today to do the task of putting text into our layouts for the first time. So you'll see I'm in our program. I'm going to InDesign on Monarch and I'm going to pull up my layout. I'm going to get it on my pasteboard and then I'm going to go get text and lay it onto my InDesign file. Okay, I'm waiting for my program to do its thing. It's getting into InDesign and here I am as a review. I am saying file, open. I'm going to the team drive to newspaper on cage to practice layouts, getting mine and opening my InDesign file. Okay, so here's where we left off yesterday. I'm on my selection tool, I hit W so I can see my layout. So here's an interesting thing. I actually have a frame over here that I didn't realize. So you never want frames on your page. I was probably trying to draw something and didn't finish it, um, but you never want that kind of stuff hanging out. It will um, be difficult for you to find your, um, to be able to click on a frame. So you want to be very careful about that. Um, in essence, InDesign is just a bunch of frames on top of each other, a frame on a frame on a frame, and you will have so many frames on this layout when you're done. So conceptually understanding that is important. And you never want your frames bigger than what the content is that's in them, and you don't want extra ones. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'm hitting Control or Command S to save. So I'm set. I'm ready to go. Okay, so now we're going to make these were grass graphics frames and now we're going to make text frames. Okay. I'm going to come to my type tool and make a text frame. But first I am going to go get information that I gave in my check-in so that I'm using the data that I wanted to be displayed. Okay. So, um, if I look at, I'm going to come over here and look at my sample bio and say, you know, how, how was I inspired? What do I want to do? So I was working on this one. Let's pull this down into its own tab. Let's make it real small so I can see my other things. Let's bring it down here. Okay. Let's also make this desktop smaller so I can concentrate on what I'm doing here. Alrighty. Now, on here, it looks like on my inspo, a good place to put my name would be up here. So I'm going to make that text frame. I'm going to come over here and um, show you how to make a text frame right here. Now, I already know that what I was working on yesterday wasn't the best looking. So this is what I was talking about. Inspiration is not an endpoint. So I have this image here, um, this black and white profile pic of mine that I think doesn't work very well um, in that long frame like that. So I'm going to move it. I'm going to move it up to this section of my layout. So I'm just going to click on it. You see I'm moving it, but I'm very careful to stay within my frames. This photo is actually more of a square than it is a long rectangle. So I keep moving it out to see what I like. I think I might try this leaving my gutters on the side and I'm going to say object fitting like we did yesterday and I'm going to fill the frame proportionately again. Okay, come into my selection tool, hit W. Do I like that or not? I like it better. Um, I'm going to, I clicked on my direct select to see how much of my picture, actually you have information on both of these sides and as you know, photos are not 
um, as effective with the subject right in the center. So I'm moving my photo to the right so that I am not in the center of the photo. And I think that has more visual interest. Okay, so I'm gonna come back here, hit W so I can see my frames. Okay, then maybe I'm going to do something with this. I'm gonna right click to get, whenever you right click on a frame, it gives you all of the tools and applications that you might want to use for a frame. So I right clicked and I would like to actually transform this. I would like to flip it. So I'm gonna rotate it clockwise and make it like this. And I'm gonna to try to mimic what I see. I'm gonna bleed off the page. I'm going to make it smaller. I'm gonna, um, okay, do you see how I'm on this particular, if I hover on that point, it lets me make it smaller instead of just moving it. Okay, I'm gonna make it even smaller here. I don't have to stay on the grid lines for this if it doesn't make sense. Kind of look like I have sunglasses on. <laughs> come like that. I don't really like that color. I think I'll worry about that another day. Yellow is my favorite color. I'm not in love with this yet, but we're just going to leave it for now. Yeah, let me take this transparency down. Oh, I like that better. Okay. So now I'm going to make a text frame. So remember I said there's two types of frames, a graphics frame that has photos or color in it and a text frame. So I'm going to click on my type tool and I'm going to make a frame for my text. And then I'm going to type like I have up here. I'm going to type Elizabeth. So now I just have this first line. I have lots of things that I can be doing with this. I'm going to click on my magnifying glass and come up here. I love to work big so that I can see what's happening. Okay, so if I click on this frame, I'm gonna double click in it so that I can actually work with the text. I'm hitting Control A to select it all. And then I'm coming up here and I am choosing a different typeface. So I'm going to choose a sans serif typeface. So I'm going to my filter and I would like a sans serif that is lightweight. Okay. So these are my choices. I don't have to do this, but this list of fonts is super long. So um, I'm going to Maybe choose, let's see, maybe craft, gothic. Now, I want it to fill up this space, so I'm going to make it bigger. And I'm just, see what I'm doing? I'm just inching it up. Now, here, I would like my letters to be farther apart, so... I am going to work on this tracking and see what happens. It takes each of the letters and makes them much wider. Okay. So now that I'm going to come, I'm going to look at this without my lines on it, without my grids. I don't love that. It doesn't have a strong enough personality for me, but I do like craft gothic. So I'm going to see what other, so this is my typeface and these are the font choices I have within it. Yummy. This is why I love um, craft gothic because there's a lot of choices in here. So uh, let's see what light condensed looks like. I like that a little better. I might go bigger and I might 
make my tracking just a little wider. You can't make it too wide, it's just going to look um, unhinged. Okay, so I still want the reader to see my full name. Now, I want my last name on there. But not my last name has only three characters in it, right? So I've got some choices. I don't know that CYR spread across here is going to make a lot of sense. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is come back here and um, I'm going to make this even bigger. So it fills up the space. Okay. Then watch, there's, I'm going to make a little shortcut. I want the same font. Maybe not the same font, I want the same typeface. So all I'm doing, these are shortcuts. I'm hitting Control C to copy. Then I'm hitting Control B to paste. Whoops. Well, here's what I wanted to show you. Okay. This is something unique to, not to InDesign, but to Monarch. So it puts some random thing. This was me working on lesson plans this morning. That is not what I just copied, right? I just hit Control C. But do you see how it says my clipboard was already full? So I'm. it has these um, circles with arrows. When I click on it, it's empty. So then I'm going to delete this and try that again. So I'm going to click on here. I'm going to hit Control C. And I'm going to hit Control V. And it did it because there wasn't anything already in the clipboard. That is just something you're going to have to get used to. Okay, so let's just play a little bit. Um, now I want to, um, go to my text tool, and I want to change this to Sear. I could have retyped it, but I'm a lazy designer, and I like shortcuts, shortcuts, shortcuts. So I'm going to come here, and I'm going to say, I want this to be bold extended. No, I don't like that these don't match well enough so no extended fonts for Lizzie here let's try heavy condensed I like that a little better but I think it might be just a little bit too heavy that's getting better now let's see if I like this now I'm gonna tighten this tracking And I'm looking for some balance. So I'm going to pull in my frame and I'm going to put this right under Liz. Okay. So now I want to make sure that those are aligned. It's a nickname that a lot of people use for me, Sear, I mean, Liz. So let's just do this. I don't, I want the R and the Z right here to align. Okay, that's good for now. I think this alley right here of white space is not big enough. So I am going to click on this text frame only. I'm selecting all the text and I'm pulling in my tracking. Okay, I like that. See this right here? There's much that rail of space. That's called a rail. It's a way for uh, the viewer to get out of, you need rails of space where the reader can get out of the layout. Okay, so now I have to fix my Um, I'm going to pull this up so it's not hanging over. That could be a problem later. So then I have to move this back. And um, I'm going to be careful I, to select all of this text and pull this tracking in a little so it stays under Liz. But I'm also looking to make sure that my kerning is consistent. So it's on metrics. I'm going to put it on optical 
And do you see how the Y and the R are now consistently kerned with the C and the Y? So now, let's take my tracking in just one more. Oops, I took it the wrong way. Okay, I like it. So now, whenever I want to see what's happening, I hit Command or, or Control Zero. And um, I can pull out and see what I have here. And I like it. Don't like the yellow, so um, maybe I'll do something different here. I'm going to see where I am on my layout. Okay. So I don't know, maybe I'll do something like this and underline my text. This is where you'll spend hours and hours just enjoying this process. It's rather zen. Okay, now let's do one more text frame. So I want to do my little bio info. Let's see how have they done things here? So they have like bio info here. Okay, now we're, we're going to work on this other layout stuff on Monday when we're together. So let's just do one more text frame and then, which all this stuff can be changed, right? So um, I'm on my T tool, but first I'm going to go to Remember I said to put all of your impressive statements about your achievements um, up here. Well, mine, I have a bio. This is my website and my teaching website. And I have my bio right here of my accomplishments. So I'm just going to take this intro paragraph, okay? And I'm going to place that. So I've highlighted it. I'm hitting Command-C. And we're going to see what happens. I'm going to clear out my clipboard and I'm going to hit, I'm on my text tool and I actually don't know what's going to happen. Um, and I'm going to make a text frame and I'm going to say control V. So see, it did take what I already had there. So I've got to clear that out going to come back and try it again. I don't know what's going to happen. This is new this year. Let me try syncing it. There we go. So I copied it, synced it, and then it put it in here. Okay. That's irrelevant to what we're doing right now. Let me see what I've got going here. It's gone. Okay. So now I have the text that I want from my bio and there's a lot of things going on here this is what's called overset text and it says there's an error on my page it will not print it's because there is text that's missing it's saying whoa 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 girlfriend you didn't finish and so your reader's not going to see some text we affectionately call this the red box of death because any of these hanging out here um, are just something a designer never wants to see. That means the whole story is not being told. Okay, that was my whole um, bio information. So let me go back to where I can see it. And I'll probably edit some of this out, but for the moment, um, I just have it on here. Now, I don't know if I want to use more than one typeface. I'm going to stick with that typeface I have, okay? Everything comes in here automatically as Minion Pro, but I can type craft in here and um, it's going to give me choices. So I'm going to try this um, condensed version of this. I like it's kind of nice and airy. Um, it's at 12 points. Copy font is normally at nine points, but I'm not sure if this is copy or not. So for the moment, Let's leave it here. I will teach you about widows and orphans on Monday. And for right now, the last thing I'm going to do is um, mimic this right here and this right here. So 
There is one more tool that you have at your disposal. That's a frame, right? But there's also strokes. So this is a line. So now you know a rectangle, a line, and text. So I'm going to click this line tool and I'm going to make this right here. So let's say I want it to start right here in the middle. If I hold down my shift key, it will draw a straight line. It will not let me go up or down. So it gives me a good sense of control. I like that. Okay, so now I have a line, which is also called a stroke. So over here, remember I told you, you could change your stroke colors here. So I'm going to change it to my yellow that I like. But I'm also going to come to my stroke palette. I'm going to make the weight heavier. See how I can see it now? Okay. Come back over here. Hit W. Close out. Close out my palette. Now I have two lines. I'm not sure I love this design yet. Not feeling it yet, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Hitting um, Control S to save. Control S to save a life. And now I have some text on here. I honestly think this text is too heavy. The font, so I'm gonna double click on it and see if I have any. It's light condensed. Oh, I think maybe I like light a little bit better. It makes for a bigger font, so I'm going to take it down to 10. Now I'm hitting on my zoom so I can zoom in on it. Yeah, that's better for now. Okay, so I want you to put your name on in a, with a creative effect, and I want you to put some of your text on and um, choose this category. Okay, have fun.